before removing the external element or polyurethane bladder on a Tidland Series 860 real spool shaft, ensure that all of the air pressure has been bled from the shaft. Remove the element clamps from both ends of the Series 860 real spool shaft. Loosen the M6 screws using a 5mm Allen wrench. Starting at the valve end of the shaft, pry up the rubber element and remove it from the slot. Lift the end of the polyurethane bladder from the slot on the valve end. Install a piece of tape on the air hose before removing the fitting so that the air hose does not fall into the shaft. Separate the air fitting components from the bladder. Remove the bladder from the slot. Lay out a new piece of polyurethane bladder material and ensure that it is at least 3 inches longer than the old bladder. Insert the Tidland hole punch guide into either end of the bladder material. Punch a 5 seconds inch hole through only one side of the bladder. Insert the air fitting into the hole from the inside of the bladder. Insert the new bladder material into the slot with the air fitting end of the bladder at the valve end of the shaft. Attach the barb fitting and the air hose. Seat the air fitting into the counterboard hole. Fold the air fitting end of the bladder so that one half inch of the end of the bladder can be tucked under itself when placed into the slot. Take the new element, which will be longer than the length of the slot, and apply a liberal amount of silicone lubricant to the element and to the element slot. Insert the element into the slot opening on the non-valve end and begin to push it through the slot. It may take more than one person to guide the element through the slot, depending on the length of the shaft. Push the element through until it is three-eighths of an inch inside the edge of the element clamp pocket on the non-valve end. Mark the valve end of the element at a location three-eighths of an inch inside the edge of the element clamp pocket. Pry up the end of the element and cut to length. Remove excess lubricant from the element with a clean cloth. Ensure that the folded end of the bladder is tucked under the rubber element and place the element clamp into the pocket. At the other end of the shaft, cut the material 9 16 of an inch longer than the outside edge of the element clamp pocket. Then fold the last half inch of the bladder under itself as was done on the valve end. Apply Loctite 242 to the threads of the M6 socket head cap screws and place them loosely into the threaded holes. Torque each screw to 7.4 foot-pounds in even steps using the star pattern shown. Repeat on the other element clamp. Contact Tidland for more specific information about maintenance for the Series 860 real spool shaft.